What is up everybody, it is Master Rob here. Welcome back to a brand new video. It has been such a long time since I've sat down and recorded like properly for you guys. So I'm really excited to be back and I have some insane news. Starting in October, this channel is gonna change a little bit. Okay, the quality is gonna get way better. There's gonna be a lot more content and the content's gonna be a lot more variety. So you're not just gonna get gaming videos on an iPad or something like that that I've been doing at the moment. I'm really gonna branch out and try some pretty cool different things. I hope you guys are excited as this as I am. I'm almost going back to when I started. I'm going back to like an old of kind of way. I'm focusing more on gaming in general rather than just the same games. I'm going to be spreading over loads of different gaming genres. I'm also going to go into hardware, tech, specs, newest stuff, all these kind of things. I've kind of gone away from it recently. It's been a little bit, I don't know, it's been a little bit of a weird period for me and I'm going to go back to my roots and kind of start again what I enjoy doing on YouTube. Once my new internet comes in, I'm going to be playing a load of new games that I haven't played yet on the channel and I'm going to be streaming them for you guys. This it's gonna be hours of content, loads of fun. I'm gonna focus on like one high quality video a day, plus a live stream, but like a good gameplay live stream of some games. Cause I'm playing PUBG, LOL, loads of different games. I'm just not recording for you guys. I've been kind of sat in the same games for like the last year or two since Slither and that kind of stuff. It was great, but you can only do so much of one game. So it is time to change. It is time to expand. It is time to do loads of cool things. Plus I've got loads of new tech and I want to show you guys the latest tech. That is, the, I don't know, I'm just really into a tech mood at the moment. A PC mood, an iPad mood, all the new stuff is coming out. This winter is going to be crazy. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Don't forget to look out in this video for the giveaway code. It's going to be somewhere in the video. With that being said, let's get into some Balloon Star Defense battles. I believe it is time to troll some people on some speed battles with the brand new Monkey Engineer skin. That is right, it has come out and I have got it right here. Now, don't forget guys, if you want to see more of this and you're excited for the rest of stuff coming up on this channel smash the like button down below i love you guys so much for that don't forget to comment as well that you have commented and liked obviously you'll have commented that you've commented so it's a little bit of a troll in itself it looks like we're going to be playing wattle resorts uh and i'm going to be jumping in with the engineer where are you engineer so i really don't expect to win this battle because i'm only going to be using the engineer you guys know how it goes by now right uh so we're going to be rocking engineer glue gunner and monkey village why the heck not and a super monkey it's a pretty crazy team this isn't gonna work, but let's see what this new skin's about. So Ninja Kiwi hit me up. They sent me over this skin. I I hardly play as the engineer. You guys know I just don't play as the engineer much at all. So uh, let's give it a go, shall we? I'm gonna put him down here. Oh my god, he looks like a like an evil like an evil genius. Oh, dude, that is so cool. Okay, nice. I kind of feel like I look like him at the moment because my glasses has no arm over here and i have no idea why I, I don't know when this broke off but everybody seems to comment about it so uh yeah all right let's add some sentry guns to it oh dude look at those sentry guns they look actually sick they look really really cool uh i'm gonna get another one of you right here at the spawn point of these lovely balloons and i'm just gonna put one in the middle as well so we've got a nice uh, we've got a nice spread going here because we are playing speed as well. So it's speed battles at the moment. So it's all going to be a little bit crazy. It's going to be a little bit fast. They're coming in now. Green balloons. Oh, damn. Even the green balloons actually are going to be a little bit of a struggle for us just because of our setup and what we're playing with here. Hopefully, Benjamin knows that I'm just playing with these new engineers. I just want to show Benjamin these new engineers, but he's, he seems to uh, want to send me yellows. Great. Thanks, Benjamin. Thanks, buddy. Okay, well, we've got faster engineering. Uh, we should be fine. I can't... The problem is, I can't really send stuff to get eco up. Um, because, obviously, it's uh, it's a little bit of a pain. Because, otherwise, I'm going to kill myself if I, if, I do, if I do that. Actually, no, I'm not. We're not playing with fire, are we? No, what am I thinking? I thought we were playing with fire, and I was like, yeah, I can't send myself stuff. Okay, yellows, off you go. Let's see, let's see. He's actually having more trouble with us, and he's had to boost, bro. Hey, there we go. Let's go. Why did you have to boost? You shouldn't have been sending me stuff, okay? You shouldn't have been sending me stuff. If he was a smart man right now, he would send me some ceramics. But for some reason, my PC's just hiding in the background as world up. Uh, okay, so I need to get set up for these ceramics, which means I need to get cleansing foam. Uh, set up in here. Oh, the cleansing foam is pink. It's like a, it's like a, oh, yo, what's that film? Where was that little slime ball thing? Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, that, whatever that's called, that's what that reminds me of. 
Oh, what is that called? Fudge? Spludge? I don't know. It's something weird, and it's got the mad scientist. Maybe that's where they got the inspiration for this from. Okay, larger areas, faster engineering, cleansing foam on you as well. Thank you very much. Faster engineering, larger surface area. Do you have a large surface? Yeah, you've already got that. You've already got that nailed down, haven't you, buddy? And uh, you also are going to have some cleansing foam. Does the cleansing foam work on ceramics? I, I've forgotten whether it does or not. I'm pretty sure. Did it? I don't know. I, I, actually, I actually cannot remember. Okay, you can go there and just shoot the strongest. And let's give you... Uh, Corrosive glue. There we go. Now we've solved the issue of the ceramics. Okay, that's that's quite cool. And we'll get some glue splatter on you as well, buddy. Oh, yeah, looking good. All right, let's get our eco up. Send this guy some pinks. Um, oh, are we going to be okay? Are we going to be okay? Yo, 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 yo. Are we going to be all right? I think we're going to be okay. I just don't want him now to send me loads of camos because he saw that and he's going to be like, Oh, you can't do it with camos off. I'm like, yes, I can. My engineers... Oh, seriously? Boo! You suck. Why? 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 Oh, man. Well, that's the problem with using all engineers. There's no way we're going to win with all engineers, so we've jumped onto random trio bonanza game mode, and we're crossing our fingers that we do get an engineer. Ah, we haven't got one. Okay, is this, gonna, is this guy going to play this, or are we going to... Zachary Prim. Dude, what a dope name. That is so cool. All right, he's uh, he's chosen to skip. What are we going to get? Engineer, please. Yes, we've got an engineer. All right, there we go. So we're playing Random Trio Bonanza with an engineer. I don't even know what else we got. What else did we even get? I didn't look. That's, yeah, that's probably not the smartest uh, of things for me to do. I probably should have looked to see what we got. Uh, okay, so engineer, village, and cannon. Okay, maybe... <laughs> All right, yeah, probably not the best setup. Oh, but at least we'll be able to see the difference between my engineer and his engineer. Yo, dude, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you like my engineer? I'm trying to give him the thumbs up to see what he says, but I don't, I don't know if he likes my engineer or not. Okay, I'm going to put these down at the back here. Very nice, very nice. Is there any point in me getting a village? I could get one, like, in the middle or something. Or maybe if I put one there and put loads of engineers around. Yeah, I'm... Uh, should I do that or am I just being stupid? I'm gonna put that there anyway. You know what? Let's just let's just go with the flow, shall we? Okay, this guy's like piping up on engineers. He's he's getting so many of them. I'm gonna start catching up. Let's uh, let's get ourselves as many engineers as we can fit in this small space. Uh, I don't even know if the engineers are actually technically out yet because I get them all early, but I can't remember if these are actually out yet or not. Why did I put the monkey village on that side and I've started building up my engineer farm? on the right side. <laughs> I, I don't even know. It's been a while since I've played games. It's been a while, while since I've played balloons. So, you know, I'm a little bit rusty uh, when it comes to my balloons tower placement. Oh, not balloon plant, my monkey tower placement. Okay. You really not fit in any of these, engineer? Oh, man. That sucks. Let's put... Let's put... You... <laughs> uh, there, there we... There, there we go. Okay, there we go. Nice. Monkey beacon... Monkey Fort, we'll get those jungle drums going as well. <clears throat> but I'm gonna start sending some stuff so I get my eco because obviously we're trying to get our eco up as well. Okay, so sending greens, sending greens. And they're not even going through, <clears throat> but I didn't kind of expect them to. We didn't really expect them to. He's seen them though. Okay, this guy's sending stuff as well. Neato. So we kind of want to spam as many of the engineers out as we can. The reason being, we need to... Actually, yeah, we do need a radar scanner because the foam is good, but it's not great at stopping camos, is it? It's really not. It's it's okay. It's like, it's okay, but it, it's just not great. Uh, I'll wait till round 10. I'll wait till round 10. I'm going to get... I'll get my radar scanner just so I have it. I've got my radar scanner if I need it. Nine inch nails. Nine inch nails. And that should do. Let's keep on sending stuff. Round nine. Okay, let's uh, let's just send these. Why not? We need to send stuff. We need to get our eco up. Let's go. Oh, my days. Oh, whoa. Okay, I need to uh, maybe pipe up on these a little bit. Nine inch nails all round. There we go. Hopefully that should save us for a little bit. Uh, we have got, obviously, ceramics that we have to deal with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait. and I'm going to save up. I'm just going to get one cannon. Uh, and I'm going to put my beautiful cannon. And this cannon is going to be called Bob. And we're going to place him right there. Send him to strongest. Uh, extra range. Frag bombs. Cluster bombs? Yeah, why not? Cluster bombs. Let's go. That looks pretty cool. 
and let's send these over. So, he's already spawned his sentry guns, and I'm trying to wait to spawn my sentry guns. The reason being is, when you spawn your sentry guns, good luck at putting down any other towers. It just won't happen. They take up all the space everywhere and are bloody impossible to work around. So, with that being said and done, I've decided to go for a different approach where I put the sentry guns down last. I focused on 9 inch nails. I've got stuff to destroy camos. And I've got stuff to destroy ceramic camos. Boom. That's that's how that's how we're rolling today. <clears throat> okay, 1,300. We can buy quite a few of these beautiful looking engineers. It reminds me of Back to the Future. It really does. It reminds me of Back to the Future. Come on! No, you can only fit one engineer on there. That that is insane to me. Engineers are fat with a pH. Okay, let's put you in there as well. Nine inch nails. Uh, nine inch nails. Nine inch nails. Nine inch nails. Nine inch nails. And large surface area. I guess large surface area is actually quite a good one. Allows stuff to destroy stuff from a further distance of stuff. Okay. You guys can all start lining up here. And then... I might start getting some of these into sentry guns kind of relatively soon. I'm not gonna wait too long because I don't wanna be overrun or anything. And I'm a little bit worried. Since the last guy sent that Moab, I'm really worried this guy's gonna send us Moabs. And I don't want that to happen because I'm having a lot of fun with my engineer army. Uh, okay, let's go with this being our little zone for Moab destruction. Oh, oh, in come the ceramics. How's the enemy dealing with this? Oh, he's done all right. He's done all right. I heard a load of like tic tacs and stuff. So I was a little bit worried that he wasn't going to do well. Okay, so let's go with a Moab mauler on you. Moab mauler on you. And a Moab mauler on you. And then you can go up to balloon impacts, bigger bombs, missile launchers. Boom! We are looking good right now. Okay, um, let's... Should I just start upgrading them, or should I keep on... I think I need to keep on building my engineers first. I think I need to. What I might do, actually, is I'll upgrade... Oh, should I upgrade you? Uh, yeah, I'm going to upgrade that in a second, but I'm going to go left path with it so that it does a little bit of damage as well. Because I don't want it just to be like a buff and stuff. I want it to be able to do some damage. It does a fair bit. Of, like it, It's okay. It does a little bit of damage. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Where are you fitting? <laughs> Come on. I'm... Yeah, there, there it is. There it is. Okay, nice. And you can fit where? Like here? Somewhere there. You can fit there. It there. Okay, so now, hopefully, in theory, if I do, like, the first load of engineers, it shouldn't affect anything further down here. So, let's -a go. Uh, sentry guns, faster engineering, cleansing foam, balloon trap. Oh, yeah. Whoa, look at that balloon trap. It's circular now. Uh, looking a little bit different there as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, we don't have enough money. Oh my god, we're not making enough money. Okay, so you see, this is why I did this, because the sentry guns now sit in the water rather than taking up space on the map like our enemies has done here. So that's the whole reason I did that. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, this guy doesn't come at us and try and destroy us with, like, an early takedown or anything like that. So, fingers crossed, this actually will work. Okay, keep on sending this eco. We've got enough eco now, so I never have to stop sending pinks. It's just like a pink barrage against this guy, which is pretty awesome. I, pr I, I love doing just crazy barrages like this. Let's get this eco up to two and a half. No, 3,000. That's what we're going to go for. And then I think that should give us enough to kind of like upgrade all of this. Oh, what? I've run out of money. Oh, no. There we go. I just had a lot of money. That was all. Okay, it's just about catching up. Is it? Nope. Nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Okay, and here we go. 2,900. Bringing it up to 3,000. Thank you very much. Oh, 3,001? Are you serious? Come on. You could have you could have stopped for me at 3,000. Um, but no, it wanted to go 3,001. So the reason we did the Monkey Village first was the Monkey Village makes everything around it 
cheaper to buy. And that's obviously very, very good for us. Our enemy is struggling a lot more than us. He's got those balloon traps, but they're full. So fingers crossed, we'll, we might do okay. All right, I'm going to buy the monkey for whatever this next thing does. All balloon groups sent will give 20% more income change. Ooh, ooh, money, money, money. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Nearby ability cooldowns reduced by 20% for the next one. But it also does do that, like, bit of damage. So I think I think it's worth it. I think it is worth it. Is it worth that amount, though, when I could upgrade, like, loads of these for the same price? That's a good question, Off. That is, that is, that is the question of the engineers. Are the engineers worth their value we're about to find out i mean we're set up a lot nicer than our enemy at the moment so you know i think i think it could work out pretty well send your gun balloon trap thank you very much sir thank you very much uh let's get this one going as well yeah oh no oh ah we destroyed ours first yeah we're oh it's very it's very even actually that's like bone dry even if, is that is that a saying? Bone bone dry even? I don't think so. Uh, I could get these up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get this. Uh, just one of them up to an assassin. Just in case I need it. We've got an assassin then. Uh, <clears throat> let's get you up to send you guys. Yeah, you know what? You can go up as well. Right, let's start working our way down the left side of this building. The problem is, when you have engineers, it's a complete and utter, like, just destructive, horrible fest right here because i mean look how disgusting both our screens look our maps are just covered with well he's got white foam i've got pink foam there's balloon traps everywhere flashing at you and half the time you're like what do you want balloon trap what are you doing what are you saying to me uh the answer is it's full that's pretty much all the balloon traps ever say to you it's like i'm full uh okay nine inch nails large reserve reserve blue trap sweet so, okay, we'll keep on pumping. So, yeah, I also wanted to mention as well, the last kind of few, couple of weeks, few weeks, obviously, I've had my baby girl, been super busy, super tired, uh, but a lot of the videos have been sponsored, and I want to apologize massively for that. There's going to be less of those videos around, but I had them all piled up. They just all came at a bad time. The games were really fun, and I hope you enjoyed them, but some people were like, oh, like, I don't know, one in four videos at the moment is a sponsored game or something. And I'm like, yeah, I'm really sorry. It just all happened at once. I couldn't, I couldn't help it. I just couldn't help it. So I apologize for that. There'll be less of that. But it looks like, guys, we could be in for a win right now. We could be... What? Since when did I put this down and not upgrade it? Why would I ever have done that? I, I don't know. <clears throat> Let's get you up. Get you up. And there's another one in here somewhere. Yeah, there you are. There you are, you cheeky little devil. You cheaty... Cheaty? Cheeky little devil. All right, faster... Okay, any more in here? There's another one in here. Uh, I think that's all of them. That's all the ones, like, lower down. Oh, look at this! Oh, so, so close, so close, so close! Yes, baby! Oh, yeah, there we go! We won with our engineers. I am sorry, Zachary Prim. Awesome name, but not awesome game. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support recently. It's been absolutely awesome. Awesome. Love you all. See you in the next one. Peace out.